You're probably wondering, what is that white topper on the top of my pickup? That is the infamous Zoom Room produced by Denny Hermeyer out of Tipton, Missouri. A really extravagant invention. He'll tell you a little bit more in this video. And I am the proud owner of two of these now. And I can't stop ranting and raving about them because they are just awesome. I mean, the versatility, the comfort, the uniqueness, it really does turn heads and it is one of a kind setup for uh, pickups. They're often used for hot shot crews, but camping, having your toys without having a trailer. Gosh, you see all these van lifers bringing so much with them and not using a whole lot. At least that was my experience when I did the Sprinter van life dealio. All right, yeah, so tell me a little bit about, I don't know, how you ended up in this huge facility doing what you're doing. And what is it that you are doing? <laughs> well, we started in Indiana where most of the technology is, is readily available and I have friends there from the industry. So once that work was done, I can locate most anywhere because our clientele travels all over the country anyway. So um, I had family in the next town south, so I wanted to be closer there. So that's part of where this thing came open and we went ahead and took it. It's yeah, been it's about 10 years in the making so far. 10 years, and, and like, I know you mentioned from, a lot of that's been like research and development. Yeah, from concept up, uh, that includes four or five concepts that just did not work. Mm -hmm. yeah, they all had fatal flaws. Yeah. It wasn't until for our for our purpose that our project worked. It didn't work until we moved the bed up in the loft area above the cab and moved it forward away from the fifth wheel hitch. And that made everything work. And people started saying, "Yeah, let's build that and see what we get." So, and from there, it's where we are now. We've got a real tiger by the tail. So, it's, it's uh, uh, we've got several on the waiting list. We're trying to ramp up production just as fast as we can, and trying to get ahead of cost overruns and that kind of thing. It's it's a tough game. Guys got to kind of kick it with one lip and roll it over on it and then press it in. Yeah, let's do the two and three quarter. normal obstacles that you have in business, but a new business and a new product at the same time, you've got literally one chance in ten of making it. Right, and you do. And, and somehow we've made it this far, uh, I think the average guy would have given up five or ten times by now with all the problems we've been through. But our customers kept encouraging me and saying the product is dynamic and we love it and we're out there trying to boost you boost it up for you and the process to make sure it turns out right every time mm -hmm. so here's one that's kind of on the base level let's walk over by that one and kind of take a look at so you're saying this is your this is the machine that keeps yeah. everything you know your cuts just precise exactly. precise yeah that's, uh, that's, we recently acquired it just, just so we could make a straight square cut and 
right. repeat it. And <clears throat> so then we've got other jigs that the component structures fit into and then are welded. And then all of the components finally fit together in here. And this is this is the area that we've had so much trouble trying to trying to keep square and that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. we just recently figured out how to do it every time. And it's working really well. But you can see how how strong that is. It's all tubular steel and it's the zoom room itself is because it is over the cab so far. It's like holding up the end of a diving board. The base of it has to be really strong. And that's where this base came in to really beef it up on the truck and make it work. So, yeah, it's, um, we're finally there. The 2021 model, I, we had to revise the overall dimensions by about one inch. And that's that, narrowing or? Uh, the length of it is what we changed, and that was to get clearance on the cab lights and the antennas and that kind of thing, and a little bit less wind resistance. And that has that required a total overall overhaul of the, all of the dimensions. So it took a long time to come up with the 2021 model, but it's really working now. So yeah, we're. We're now in the process of making jigs and fixtures to accommodate the real process engineering of producing the item. And over here we have one of those new jigs that we just recently completed. That this uh, blue one here is special purpose that we take the, the frame components from this shape, for instance, and those fit into this jig just exactly, exactly right. The paneling is applied and the insulation is installed and the inside paneling is then installed and it's put into this jig with a follower plate to hold everything absolutely flat and to make the best possible adhesion for the sandwich construction. My dad used to say that anybody can build anything heavy. The trick is to build something strong and lightweight and we've accomplished that with, with what we're doing here. And we still have a frame that is included in that structure. So we're, we think we're ahead of the game quite a ways in, in what I know about adhesives and that kind of thing. It's, it's the new way to go for, for construction. So from here, these, these are going to wind up across the room into racks and more fixtures that we haven't even built yet, but um, that will that manufacturing process will continue on, and we'll dial in, as we call it, every step of the way to make sure that we have quality and efficiency when we when we really go into production and produce produce the zoom. And so far, it's uh, by the looks of this, it's really working. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased how this is going about, I and mean, it's encouraged us to. There it is. <laughs> All right, and we got the the latest one coming in. Yeah. This is my lucky uh, waiting list payoff, right? All yeah. good things come to those who wait. But man, yeah, what a fun. Oh my gosh, the versatility, the things you can do. I mean, yeah. we're, we're gonna load that snowmobile down there and we'll have a sleeper car above and it, it's just, it's amazing what, what Dennis has done here. Yeah. Is weighing in at about 680 pounds. 
we're at, yeah, 80. I think that's right. We'll double check it. Yeah. Yes, that's, 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 that's the only difference. I mean, I was in the truck for both of them. So. Okay. So. A group of components coming up for the next six units, and there'll be jigs and fixtures all the way along this whole production scene, and uh, we'll we'll be have, we'll be up to five people here pretty quick for for employees. That's a good start. We're hoping to get two a week, and we've been only running about one every three three weeks. So that's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Then it's easy. It's actually easier to double your production when you're already in some pretty good numbers. Right. So um, keep the flow of things yeah, going. Yeah, but in its infancy, it's. It's real tough to figure things out to get everything to flow. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a flow chart helps, but it's not the answer <laughs> to everything. <laughs> so, yeah, you see we got our uh, metal brake and a new sear there. Big air compressor going on. And a stack of mattresses there ready to throw in and that kind of stuff. Our building itself needs a lot of help, but from where we started, it's been abandoned for a long time, and we could hardly move, we could hardly walk around in here when we moved in, there was so much trash and so forth, so this is much better. Camping, having your toys without having a trailer. Gosh, you see all these van lifers bringing so much with them and not using a whole lot. At least that was my experience when I did the Sprinter van life dealio. And yeah, I was going to places where I had friends and I had comfortable couches and hot showers. Didn't find myself really using the Sprinter as much as I thought. I was bringing around a lot of equipment and not really getting the use out of it. I do a lot of remodels, I do a lot of miscellaneous work and kind of use my toys more than I use sleeping quarters. So this combination of a pop-up pop, pop -up cab over camper, while I still got the full use of my bed space, I mean, you look back and you don't even see it there. You look in your mirrors, you don't even see it, that it's above you and there's a big old hole in your cab and you can just crawl right up there Pop it up with a push of a button, hydraulic, electric over hydraulic, and the truck's off or when it's running, pops right up and you crawl up there and you and you go to bed. It really was just what I was looking for and I was going to Denver, I saw someone driving with one on the rig and I took a picture of it and I called six or seven different RV dealerships only to get no answers and no good direction on where I should go with the information and, and how to track down the creator of this until finally someone had sent me to the link zoomroom.space where I found Denny and his production here out of Tipton, Missouri and I immediately was on the phone trying to get a hold of him and got on the waiting list, sent him you know half of the deposit up front and then the other half when I got it on my truck after I drove it to him from northern Idaho and I was the first person to actually be using this for recreation. Most of Denny's clients come from hotshot crews, um, people needing to haul without paying for a hotel, and kind of that 
um, almost a trucker kind of utility. And I was like, this is perfect for, you know, a sled deck, um, a fifth wheel hitch, basically doing all my miscellaneous errands with my pickup was camping or wanted to get on location for a shoot earlier and one needed to nap or wait for the sunrise or basically just being somewhere and, and knowing that I can get a full night's rest wherever I am. It only weighs 600 pounds. I'm not really, you know, diminishing on mileage. I'm still getting 19 to the gallon. Um, I mean, it was just the perfect combination. So I knew I wanted to make a video for Denny in exchange for all the hard work and him just being such a wonderful person and helping me out with getting getting it going. And, and uh, my second setup, I actually did a Krogman bail bed, so a flat bed that can lift, you know, about 2,500 pounds, electric over hydraulic as well, with the Zoom Room combination to make the ultimate overlanding utility rig at a way better price than some of the other ones out there. Granted, you know, there's no holding tanks, there's no big stove burner, it's kind of a more simple design, but it's, you get the mileage, you get the utility, and I mean, you'll never have to lift a washer or dryer or do any of that. Um, snowmobiles, four-wheelers, just a push of a button, no ramps. I have since put over 65,000 miles on this white Dodge. Um, it's held up just great. I, uh, gosh, I feel like the, the unit will outlive the pickup and I look forward to possibly doing my third Zoom Room in the future. I have driven this truck all the way up to Alaska. Um, I have put lots of miles on this vehicle. I really appreciate you guys watching till the end here. Thanks so much for subscribing and I'll see you back here on my next video.